all right guys to get started you want to go ahead and wash your meat and i have about two pounds of cow heel here and i'm just going to wash it with some lime When working with cow heel, you need a pressure cooker. I mean, it's the heel of the cow. It's hard. So you need a pressure cooker to pressure the meat to get it nice and tender. And that should take you about half an hour or so. So after you remove it from the pressure cooker and the meat is completely cool, you want to go ahead and wash it about twice to remove all that grease from the meat very important you guys make sure that you wash it and none of the meat is nice and clean um, this is how you want it okay so here I'm showing you guys how I'm cutting my cucumbers and I like cutting them nice and thin and after that you want to prep your other ingredients like your peppers your onions your shadow belly and whatever else that you're using so when you finish prepping your ingredients and your meat is cooled you want to go ahead and start making your sauce and make sure your meat is cool you guys because you don't want the sauce turning into jello now so i'm going to add some salt to my water and then i'm going to go in with some green seasoning then i'm going to go in with some shadow benny that i minced up and here i have a mixture of peppers i have both seasoned peppers and hot pepper you add as much hot pepper as you like but you do need that little kick in sauce though in my opinion and here i'm adding some lime juice you could also add lemon juice either one would work just fine and here i'm giving it a little taste make sure it has enough salt and then i'm going to add my meat now you could add onions if you like but be mindful though if you do add onions onions does tend to make the sauce get sour a little faster so it all depends on how long you plan to have your sauce for you know if you're just eating it in one day fine but it doesn't make that much of a difference with the flavor profile though and then i'm going to add my cucumbers give that a stir and let it sit for about half an hour and allow the meat to pickle which is basically what sauce is pickled meat this was so delicious so spot on it really takes me back to those days when my dad used to always bring sauce home on friday evenings but guys as you can see sauce is really easy to make i will list the ingredients and everything in the description bar and i hope that you try this and as always i'll see you guys in the next one later